Hey friends, Will here, uh, back with another video. It's been ages since I've uploaded because ba -ba -ba -ba, I'm in my new office, which is really exciting. Uh, so yeah, sorry I've not been uploading so frequently recently, uh, but yeah, it's been quite a whole thing uh, getting used to the new office and getting set up to do videos. Um, today, I wanna to talk about syncing audio in Final Cut Pro, something which I avoided doing for a very long time because it seemed like a hassle, it seemed complicated, but actually super easy and really great results. So let's get into it. So yeah, new office, new office, new me? I don't know. Anyway, more to come on the new office uh, in future videos, but today, syncing audio in Final Cut Pro. Uh, yeah, so why would you want to record your audio separately to your video? First and foremost, you can generally get better quality audio by using an audio recorder. I often use this uh, Zoom H1. Uh, I am looking to maybe upgrade this uh, in the future. Uh, secondly, if you're shooting wide, you can't always get a mic get your camera close with the mic so that's another use case for it um, and finally if you're doing sort of music videos and that sort of thing often you need to sync a mastered recording of a track to the video that you're shooting so a few different use cases um, and yeah so easy so let's dive into my screen so what we've got here is a Final Cut project from a while ago uh, I've chosen this one it's just a tutorial video uh, I've chosen it just because I recorded my audio separately and here in the browser you can see I've got my audio and which is recorded through the audio recorder and then I've got my A roll which is me sat at my computer in my old office. Ah, oh, my old office. Um, so to sync them up you literally just select the audio clip and then press command select the video clip one thing I should mention, if you're recording the audio separately, still make sure that you're recording audio through the camera. So, it, I mean, it doesn't need to be very good quality, but you do need some audio so that Final Cut can do its magic and sync them up. So here, for example, uh, I've got my echoey, reverby, poor quality audio there. And then here I've got my... So, um, what... There is my high quality audio. So select the audio clip, turn this volume down again, select the audio clip, press command on your keyboard and select the video clip, right click and say synchronize clips. That's gonna bring up this dialog box where it's gonna invite you to give the clip a name. I'm just gonna leave it as is. It's gonna ask you where you wanna put it. So I'm just gonna put it in this footage event that I've created and it will ask for the starting time code. You can completely ignore that unless you only want it to sync from a particular time code. I've never used that function though. I always just sync the whole clips together. Then uh, we've got these two tick boxes, use audio for synchronization. That is the automatic default setting. And that's what I mean about having audio on the video clip, even if you're not gonna use it. So that is ticked. And then secondly, we've got disable audio components on AV clips. Uh, this means that once you've synced the clips, it will turn off your rubbish audio and leave you with just your decent high quality audio. You don't have to have that. You can sync clips together and leave the audio in place. I normally disable it though because it's easy. Um, so generally that's all I do and then I click OK. Before I do that though, for the sake of this tutorial, I just show you some of the custom settings which you've got available to you. So you can see we're on automatic synchronization here. You can do it by time code if you're using time code for your cameras. You can do it by the date, the, con the time the content was created. If you've synced up the timers on the clocks on your camera and your audio recorder, you can do it at the start of the first clip. So that is if you've already trimmed your clips before you're syncing the audio, or you can do it with the first marker on the clip. So these options are all much more advanced. I generally haven't needed to use them, um, but for larger productions with more cameras and audio recordings and lots going on, I can see uh, why they exist. They're not something that me as a one-man band uh, making sort of content has ever needed to use, but they are there. Um, this is also, like this one here, the first marker on the clip, this is why you see people on sets using snapper boards or clapping at the start. So it gives you that definite 
sort of point, that visual reference and that audio reference. So it could be that you put that marker on that clap or on that snapper board and then look up that way. Honestly though, I've never needed to do that. So I'm gonna brush over that for now. So if I leave this as automatic, go back to my automatic settings and I click OK, Final Cut's gonna think about it and what it's gonna do is it's gonna create a new synchronized clip. Now it does that pretty quickly. In the background though, Final Cut is still gonna to need to render that new clip. So you will notice that it will start sort of whirring away in the background as, as we go through, but it's created it. You can start using it, you can continue editing that's absolutely no problem. And if I just drag this new synchronized clip onto the timeline, you can see in the browser actually this little black icon, it looks like a sort of chain link or something. So that's telling you that it's a synchronized clip. Um, once you've got that, zoom out of this a bit, there's our new synchronized clip, perfect. And um, Within here, I'll just show you under the audio settings, you can see that we've got the dialogue and we've got dialogue one here and that's the storyline, which is unticked. So that is our original audio from the video clip, which has been disabled automatically in the process. And then we've got our connected audio here, which is our decent quality audio. So that is one way of doing that. The next way is not really the audio sync, um, it's a slightly different approach. So for example, that is syncing audio, one video clip and one audio clip, syncing them together, perfect, no problem. If however you have got other video clips, then you may want to use the multicam editing approach to syncing the audio and the clips together. And it's very similar. Um, I'm gonna kind of just quickly show you it here, but I've done a whole other video about it and um, I will link that up here uh, talking about multicam editing in more detail but the concept of it is exactly the same so here again I've got my audio clip and I've got my a roll me talking to camera I've also got this screen recording which I recorded in the same way I'm doing this video now which has also got a, a poor quality audio of my voice okay so if I select the audio command click on the screen recording and command click on the um, uh, A roll uh, and then right click, I can do new multicam clip. Again, just the same as with the other one, it's gonna prompt me for a name, ask me where I wanna put it and I've got exactly the same settings as before with a few extra ones actually, but leave them all on automatic, click OK and that is gonna give me a new multicam clip. You can see here this little black and white icon with the four squares showing me that that is a multicam clip. And if I drag that into the timeline, then you can see in my viewer, I've used uh, Command Shift 7, just turns on the angles view, uh, or you can do view, uh, where is it? Showing viewer angles. So that is to show your multicam. And you can see here, we've got the audio clip, the screen, and the video clip there. Okay, so um, once you've created that clip, at the top here, you've got these three icons, and this is to choose how you wanna switch your clips. So we can switch video and audio, we can switch video only, and we can switch audio only. So what I normally do once I've got my multicam clip on the timeline is I choose my, so let's set this to audio only and then I hold alt and click on that. And you can see that's gone green around there. It was already set actually already, but for the sake of that, that's how you would do it just like that. So you select audio there, click on the clip with uh, whilst holding alt. And now that audio is select. Now if I now choose video only and I play through the clip, I can then, whenever I want, I can click on the video clip and it will switch to the video clip, switch to the screenshot, back to the video clip. You can see that video clip is uh, black at the moment. That is because it's not quite rendered it yet. So it is there. Um, in fact, if I, let's just, there you go. So it is there. It's just showing as a black screen because like I said earlier, it doesn't, it needs to render through to create it. So if you ever see that, don't worry about it. It's probably there. 
So yeah, so, uh, so that's kind of that. Once you're going through, you can then click screenshot, back to that. So as I'm changing my angles to cut between my face and my screen, the master audio is staying all the time and that's exactly what we want. So that is that. I know I've brushed over multicam a little bit there, but as I say, I did do a full video on that. So if that is the approach that you think is gonna be best for you, then do check out that other video. Um, I'll link it. And um, yeah, that's everything today. I hope you find that useful. Um, if you like it, give the video a thumbs up. And um, I do regular videos like this, uh, content creation, filmmaking, um, my general journey as I learn and improve as a filmmaker. So if you think that sounds interesting, please subscribe to the channel. And other than that, I'll see you next time. <laughs>